Hey guys, Bikes, Bongs, Ballast Songs, and this is a Levers review, or first impressions really. This is the first time I've ridden with these shorty levers. I just got like some cheap $30 shorty levers off Amazon. I have a feeling they were made in China. And I installed them and this is my first time riding with them. They feel like when I was moving the bike around before I started it up, like they feel, it feels kind of like a different bike for a second. Like it's really, really different feeling from the stock levers. And it's super weird at first at least, I don't know. I haven't even been on the bike for five minutes. So we'll see. My first shift was kind of weird there, but I like them. They're adjustable, which is really nice. Something about that is just great. Don't have to shift much right here, but I'll go through town and learn that. I'm gonna go slow around that corner because there's always fucking gravel. Gotta watch out for gravel. Gravel will be the end of your day real quick. Alright, let's try to shift down. Ah, that's actually really nice for stopping too. I can't exactly decide yet where I want the settings. Like the, um, uh, what's it called? This clutch lever needs to be farther out. Uh, it's hitting my finger when I two finger. Whatever, I forgot what I was gonna say before that. Anyways. Ooh, I'm doing a like 200 mile trip to that thing. Going down the highway a bit, so that'll be interesting. I've done that once already, but still, it's, it's kind of a ridiculous ride to go that far on the highway on this bike. But we'll see how it goes. This thing is, mm, I like these levers, man. I really do. I'm, I'm go the only pro one of the main complaints I have, they were really easy to install, but they wiggle a lot. That given I didn't have the type of nut that goes on the bottom of them to like that bottom nut that connects to the bolt that goes through your levers but you know they're whatever they wiggle up and down I don't know if you can see that but when you're using them just pulling them back and forth you don't notice that and it's not a problem the only way it can be a bad thing is just that it feels cheap and if you let it bother you just because it's not like solid then it can be an issue just because it's kind of it, it feels cheap when you wiggle and it, you just want things on your motorcycle to be solid and not move around like that so it kind of is uncomfortable to like play with but if nobody told you that and you didn't install them you might not notice it at first when you're just riding. You only really notice it when you like start to just play with them and jiggle it around. You're like, oh, that moves. But it's not really so bad. Hey, they're $30 levers, so I can't complain too much. Because I've heard like AVG levers are I think 250 bucks or something. And that's just nuts. I know have to go a little bit heavier on the front brake to get that same amount of braking power, but it doesn't mean you have less braking power. It just means you have to squeeze the thing a little bit harder, which is just totally something you can get used to. So it's not really bad. The only thing that's annoying about these levers is just getting used to them. But once you do, it's just like riding a motorcycle that you haven't ridden before. Also, uh, the main thing really that I like about these levers is they look super good. Let's hop 
in the other lane. All right. Anyway, I think that's where I end off this log. But basically, these levers are great. I recommend them. My CBR 250R levers. The only thing that I don't like about these levers is that they jiggle around. But aesthetically, they're great. They're super easy to install. And... Yeah, this is only really one downside. And they were super cheap, so I love them. Alright guys, I'll catch you later.